Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is an example of an ulnar collateral ligament tear from the attachment on the ulna. This is an 18-year-old uh, person injured uh, while throwing, and so it was a classic pitcher type injury, and there's ulnar-sided pain, and if we look on this coronal view, we see the humerus up top here coming down, we see the radius on the lateral side, and we see the lateral ulnar collateral and radial collateral ligament kind of combined here together. We see overlying that, the common extensor tendon complex coming up here to the lateral epicondyle, and all the lateral structures look good. Now on the medial side, we see the ulnar collateral ligament. Comes off here in the humerus where it becomes flat, and it comes down, and as it comes down, it's just too thick. Normally it becomes thin and attaches to a little point here called the sublime tubercle on the ulna, but instead, the sublime tubercle, we don't really even see it. It's ill-defined, and there's a little vertical band of brightness here. Again, the UCL is too thick, so this is a partially torn UCL, and it looks like it does come down attached to a piece of bone or periosteum, probably a cortical avulsion fragment here. So it looks like a cortical avulsion of the sublime tubercle that's t um, fractured and pulled back just slightly, and there's a little crescent of brightness, which is fluid right at that um, interface between the avulsion fracture fragment and the rest of the ulna. So a partially torn UCL with a cortical avulsion fracture of the sublime tubercle of the ulna. Fairly common injury and uh, that's it. So thank you very much.